What's going on you guys? Cameron here with another video. So uh, we've already gone through creating our tables or fields. We've dabbled in creating a single layout and now we can start playing with some list views so we can go and see a complete list of all of our customers and then maybe make a second list of seeing a full list of all files. And then also dabbling a little bit into doing some like sub summary reports so that that list view for the files will actually sort by the customer itself. So with the window open now, what I have here is we can do shift command L. This will bring up our layout manager. And in the list folder here, we're going to do a new on the computer. We're going to do a list and we're going to do a list of the customers and the layout name will be list customers. So we got show records from customers, layout name list customers, it's a computer, layout for a list view and click finish. So this created a brand new layout and we can just call this list or we can call this customers list. I like to make this a little bit larger. Make this white and bold. It's just a basic text field, like any other text field you would put in like um, pages or on like uh, website editors, anything like that. It's a basic text field that you can just drag and drop on, edit your own text. Now this body, so the cool thing about a list view is that it's gonna duplicate anything within that body. So we also have a footer here. The footer stays at the bottom and then the top navigation will always stay at the top as the top navigation. I'm gonna delete the footer, really no need for the footer here right now. And the body here is where we can start dragging and dropping some information. And what I would like to drag and drop is the um, full name. So instead of having the label Let's do, let's do the label inside the field. Drag and drop that. Expand this all the way. And then we'll probably do a phone and email. There we go. And then all we also need to do to create a list view after this is just create a a single button that will take us to that layout to view the data for that specific client. So all we got to do here is click and drag. We can just say view. And then this could be a single step, which is fine. And the single step script would be go to related record. So this is the record that we want to go see. We want to go see the related record, the same record but on a different layout, meaning that we want to see the full detailed layout for this record. So we're going to edit this details here, the options for this. So we're getting the related records from the same table customers, and we're going to the layout lay customer. Now this is where you can give your clients some more, uh, the, the users more options as far as opening a new window, show only related records. Right now, I just want to stay in the same window and just go there. Click OK, click OK. For good user navigation, we want to change cursor on handover. So there we go. We can now go exit layout. And right now we only have two customers in the list. So you can see how it, it automatically generates the list for you based off of what's in that body field. Considering the fact we only have two customers, it's only showing two. When we click this view button, it should take us to Joe. And it did. As soon as we click there, we're at Joe now. One thing you'll notice is that we have no way of going back to that list view other than we have the list view here as well. You typically wouldn't really create multiple lists, but this is just to give you the ideas of how to create these list views in FileMaker if you didn't have, want this specific setup. So we can edit this layout and we can add another button to this layout we can do list view. With that button selected over here on our style, we have like different types of uh, styles for a button. Just select this. 
And for this, we can do another single step script. We, um, for this one, you can use the script step, go to layout. And then the layout that we want to go to is that list customers. Click OK. Change the cursor icon. So now that when you're on a customer's details list, you can actually click view list and it takes you back to that specific list. So now if we go view like Cameron, it takes us to the Cameron records. So next thing we can do is we can create another type of list view for our files. And the cool thing with the files list we can do is we can actually create the subdivisions between customers. So with shift command L, we'll bring up our layer layout manager again. We're going to do a new layout. This is on the computer. It's going to be a list. But instead of customers, we want to see files. So this can be called list files. Finish. We're going to drag this one to the list folder there. Change the size of this. And we're just going to say list. Or say files list. Now on this list, we have to decide, okay, what do we want to view as a file? Well, typically you would want to view the file, file name and file description. The cool thing with this one is we also have the body and footer again. We can delete the footer. Above the body, we can actually subdivide this list based off of each customer. So I'm going to go to layout, part setup. I'm going to create a sub summary once sorted by and what I want to sort by is the customer. So every single file has a related customer because we related the customer's primary key to a file. With that being said, we can actually sort based off of that ID, but also use the customer's name doing so. So we're in the part definition, sub summary, when sorted by customer ID of K, click OK. Then FileMaker is going to ask you, do you want to print this above or below. For our case, it's better to do above. Click done. So now we have this extra little menu bar here, which is a sub summary. The cool thing with this is we can actually change the color of the sub summary to something like a light yellow. And then we can do insert merge field. Instead of being in the files table, we want to go to the customers related table. The customer's related table will be the name. We can make this black and bold. And then within the body of this list view for the file, we can add the file itself. We can add the file name. And file description. We can add a little bit more details here with the creation timestamp and created by. Typically, these fields would be merge fields. Go to insert, merge field, and we can select from the current table files and select creation timestamp. We can also insert merge field and then do a created by. We can label these created by and then label this one creation at timestamp. We can give these boxes a little bit more room to breathe. And we'll, also what we can go do is even though you can interact with this list with these files and file names and descriptions, maybe we want to go view the customer from here. So what we can do is we could create a button to go to the related record from here, but it'd be cooler if we can just click the name. So instead of this being black, let's make this white, or I'm sorry, blue. Let's do like a light blue and underline. Usually in web slash email slash text messages, when you see a link, it's blue and underline. This tells you visually that you can visually click on the link. 
So I'm, what I'm going to do is make this a lot larger here. And I'm going to set these fields right here. And this one will stay right there. And then what we can go do is create our first script in the script editor. We can do shift command S. This is a script workspace. This is where you can go and create your scripts and save them and interact with them in the layout view. We're going to add a new script. And the new script will be, we're going to rename this view customer. Basically the script is kind of like the related one. Go to related record from the customers but we want to use the layout, lay customers. We could have made this in a script, a single script step, but just gives you a visual aspect of saving scripts in your database so you can easily go edit them. So you don't have to go to the exact location of wherever a single script object is on the layout to edit it. We're gonna save this. This also shows you how you can assign a save script in your database to a layout object. So with this object selected, we can go to button, button setup with an equal right click. The action is a perform script and you can actually select that script that we just made. One other thing that we need to do on this layout is either use the FileMaker sort button or create our own. First, I'll show you the sort button from FileMaker. So if we exit this layout, right away, you're gonna see all of the files in the database. And you don't actually see the subsort when sorted by field for the customer because those only work when you actually sort the list. The one way you can sort a list is by using the FileMaker sort field button. So we have sort here. And what we want to sort by is the list files. And we want to filter by, let's see. Files. Here we go. We want current table, files, customer ID. We're going to move that to the sort order, click sort. And as you can see now, you can see that each individual customer name. So you know Joe and all the files for Joe. And then you see Cameron and all the files below Cameron are Cameron's files. And then what we can do is also test our button to go to the actual customer layout. And that little button actually links us to the customer layout here as well. We can also create a view all for the files to go back to this view within this layout. So we can go to edit layout. I'm going to move this down just a tad. And what I would like to do is just create a view all text box here. So I'm going to add some text here. To view all. I'm going to underline this and create this as a blue text as well. We can create another script step by going to Shift Command S, creating a new script called View All. We got to make sure we're in the rename, the view all files. This script step will say go to layout. And the layout that we want to go to is the list view, which is list files. Now, the cool thing with this script editor, instead of having to manually go and sort the list every single time by going to that button at the top of FileMaker that says sort and then adding the sort that we want to do, we can tell FileMaker exactly what we want to do within the script. So it says, go to that layout. I want to automatically show all records. And then I want to sort the records with dialog off. And I want to specify the sort order based off of the files, customer ID of K, move that over to the sort order, click OK, command S to save. We're going to exit this layout here. We're going to double, we're going to right click with this text selected, do button setup, perform script, view all files, and then change the cursor on mouse over. I'm going to exit this layout. This is the customer details layout. When I click view all, 
it takes us to the files list and also sorts this list for us. We've already gone through creating two list views for customers and then also files based off of sorting by the customer. In the next video, we're gonna also complete a couple more scripts to navigate from this layout and go to the customer's layout or the customer's list or the uh, details list. Also in the next video, we're going to show you how to automatically resize these components so that they move with the window and resize accordingly to what the window size is. Stick to, stay tuned for the next video and I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks guys.